a very warm welcome to you know all the participants uh, who joined us for this webinar i think uh, credit as you all know it's a, it's a extremely core function for any lender you know be it a bank or a nbfc in fact uh, you know if you look at it the entire business model of a lender hinges around credit risk the incremental interest spread that a banker earns over the risk free rate can be largely attributed to the credit risk that they assume so it becomes extremely important that the credit risk gets measured and managed in a very effective manner now this requires very strong domain expertise and deep understanding of credit and related areas <clears throat> unfortunately most lenders today they are struggling with building a strong capacity in this critical function see it is like this i mean if you have a heart related ailment you will go to a cardiologist and not to a general physician similarly for thorough credit risk assessments lenders need credit underwriters with strong domain expertise and maybe a generalist like a ca or mba might not have the required skill set to perform the function optimally and this is where we believe uh, the nism and kisil certified credit underwriter program can help so this this program basically aims to equip credit officers with strong conceptual understanding as well as the ability to apply judgment to real life case studies market data insights and analytics let me share some interesting details about the program with you so this certification program uh, is an online self paced program with a total learning time of about 50 hours <clears throat> the course is spread across seven topics and 23 sub topics that cover almost the entire credit landscape and the credit life cycle the content while being exhaustive also has a nice build up and a flow to it so on the left hand side of your screen if you see we have listed all the topics along with the duration or the learning hours for those topics so it starts with the macro environment debt markets and the regulations which gives you a very good sense of how the entire debt capital markets are structured especially in the indian context then you get into the basics of credit risk assessment framework itself uh then you deep dive into financial analysis which is a core element in the entire credit risk assessment process you get into capital market debt instruments uh such as you know corporate bonds all business loans unsecured loans and even priority sector loans <clears throat> end of it uh the credit operations documentation security creation charge creation everything sums up the entire credit life cycle here also unlike uh, you know the other uh, certification programs the content here is not in the textual form it is highly interactive and replete with uh, crystals proprietary frameworks case studies market data and so on also after you've completed or gone through all the modules you become eligible to appear for the examination now this examination for the for the course is held at a quarterly frequency the exam duration is about 3 hours with about 150 mcq type questions and the minimum passing criteria for the course is a 60% score <clears throat> on clearing the certification exam you are awarded a joint certificate from nism and kisil you also earn a digital badge now for those of you who might be wondering what a dig digital badge exactly is uh, let me explain you this in brief so a digital badge uh, helps you showcase your credentials and share them with your colleagues clients and employers so it works on the principles of blockchain and is a digitally verifiable version of your certificate so this adds a lot of credibility to the credentials that you earn now with this uh, you know i i come to an end of my presentation i now hand over to himanshi to take us to the content demo over to you himanshi 
thank you thank you so much mirin thank you sachandra for uh, you know uh, giving me this chance to present this demonstration also uh, it's my pleasure to take you through the content for nism and crystal certified uh, credit underwriter program uh, let's take credit risk evaluation framework so this is a basic topic but with a lot of concepts into it and the best part about it being that we are covering crystal's credit framework uh, as a part of this module here on my screen you are able to see this entire module as i click on the begin button uh, you have these you are probably here. familiar this with is credit. credit risk evaluation framework as i move ahead on my in screen, this module we will look at the entire as i was speaking it will have an audio voice over to it which uh, the page that we are on to right now is a module map so from here to any topics we can quickly get redirected um as you see uh, as a part of content we have we have a lot of case studies so if i click on credit rating framework so what we see is a lot of topics the business models credit risk assessment all these topics are mentioned on the right hand side of the screen for you uh let's say uh, i'll take you to one of the case studies and uh, it'll give you a better understanding on how the concepts are working how the modules are explained and how interactive this is going to turn out to be I will just turn on the audio for your understanding here. Rating framework to assess the credit quality of a company and determine its rating. So what exactly would Crystal need to assess as part of this framework? What would you consider if you had to give someone a loan? Let's look at an example. This is Tony. <laughs> Tony is an old college acquaintance. His love for experimenting with flavors combined with his extreme sweet tooth made him quit his corporate job and set up an ice cream shop. Just this month, Tony devised a new do-it-yourself project using an ice cream mixer arrangement he devised. Once this is rolled out, buyers will be able to customize their ice cream using various mechanisms to get exactly the kind of cream, flavor, fruit and toppings they want. Tony seems to have had decent success during the past year and wants to set up a few more branches. But he needs some capital to begin. Would you lend to Tony's? So as we move ahead, ah, we have seen you this probably particular want some uh, more... uh, you know, case study on you know how Tony is investing into a business. How is he planning to go ahead with this? So it's a simple question. What is his business model? Is he honest and reliable? So the screen asks you whether you decide to lend him money in his business. And if yes or no, why? So I'll just click on a few options. I'll click on submit. And it gives me an analysis that what could be the right answer and what have I selected? So it's not going to be a one-way monotonous study as we are speaking of. Similarly, we speak of its uh, business portal. So this is how the analysis comes up. So if you want to know if Tony's business was sustainable, whether it will be viable in long term or not. These are the pointers that you need to consider, not just for Tony, but for all the other case studies that you might come across. Uh, similarly, not just uh, this one module, I will also take you through another uh, interesting advanced topics into uh, working capital financing. So here, um, we have topics like financial analysis, uh, working capital products, and so on. And within working capital financing, just to take you through, we'll go about non-fund-based financing, and I'll uh, play the model for your reference. How does a back-to-back -back LC work to fund the vendor? Let's go back to this. We have these modules which largely talk about letter of credit and bank guarantee. So the entire letter of credit right from issuing to closure is a very complex workflow. And we have exp explained it through a very clickable, click to reveal interactivity here. For reference, I would want to take you to one of the similar process flows. This is said to be one of uh, the most difficult parts, but as we learn here, uh, you can just click on these icon. You can see an interaction between uh, a seller and a buyer as it goes down two, three, four, and similar 14, uh, you know, process, uh, processes are explained here. So we can anytime, anywhere, stop there, read through the process from the start to the end to the closure, and then understand the process in an easier manner. If you want, there could be an audio voiceover to it. We can play. We can understand what it's trying to explain and then go ahead with the module. 
moving ahead uh, to give you a glimpse on the case studies we highly speak of case studies and real life data trends as a part of this uh, curriculum we have uh, an entire uh, you know module or a topic dedicated to the same uh, for reference i'll play one of the case studies on financial ratios by astral limited here in this module as i play uh, you will be able to see the entire content there will be instructions and uh, you know the annexure on your left hand side and on the right hand side you will see details of the company what the company is how the company is performing what is uh, you know its products how are they working in the industry and so on so all these details are there uh, we will be able to refer to it the entire case study now this is a very practical understanding that you will do here on completion of this case study we give you a second part which will give you questions now these questions will be two types one is mcq pattern based questions and another will be descriptive type questions so mcq based questions are as we all know we have certain questions we click on the right and the wrong we click on one of the options be it right or wrong we get the analysis of it we also have descriptive type questions very interesting in manner so here we speak of cost of production now in this particular uh, you know question as it is visible on your screen we have certain points uh, you know basis which we need to uh, understand or submit what are the points considered for the cost of production for reference i'm clicking a few of these options and i click on submit button so as i spoke about it this will tell me what were my answers what were the right answers what were the wrong answers in in the reds and greens and again uh you know we have the explanation of why and how could be the possible right answer that we can try out similarly towards the end i'll show you another clickable question wherein uh, we need to figure out the working capital consumption basis the case study wherein uh, there are certain amounts that need to be filled so for reference i'll just put in some random amounts here and i'll click on uh, uh, you know let's say i click on submit here I have an understanding of the comments. I click on submit. Now again, the screen will tell me what were my right answers, what were my wrong answers, how was my comments, and if I click on the show answer option, we will have exactly what should be the right answer. So it's it's just to take you through an understanding wherein what we are showing, what you are learning, and how better you are implying the same in your uh, working cycle. Through this presentation, I have tried to give you a sneak peek into how the modules will be going. And uh, if there are any questions or queries, you can definitely reach out to me and we'll be happy to answer for that. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll hand it over to Suchandra. Now back to you. With this, we conclude today's webinar. On behalf of Crystal Like Convey, a sincere thanks to all of you for taking part in today's webinar. Uh, we sincerely hope that you found today's discussion insightful and informative. And please feel free to reach out to us for any further queries. Um, uh, goodbye and please take care of yourself. Bye.